How's it going? Welcome to another All About RVs. I'm Jared Gillis, and today we're talking about customizing your RV to, to fit your needs, fit your wants, and really fit your style. So uh, we're with some friends. You might have seen it in our family channel. And uh, so we're going to be going over some of the modifications that they made to their RV uh, that just makes it possible for them to be able to RV uh, that the way that they would want to for their family. So a lot of great modifications on here. There's uh, so many great modifications you can do nowadays to really hone in what your style is and uh, just make it that much better to fit your family. So uh, they're a family of four. It's Steve and Nancy and they got two boys and they live in this rig full time. So let's go over some of the stuff. So one of the first things we're going to look at here are the stairs. This is Steve right here. And um, so these stairs were a great addition and definitely a necessity for the RV here. Number one, they are extremely stable, much more stable than the stairs that they had on here before, a great improvement. So uh, they have this, this handle here for going up. Um, David needs uh, assistance if he's not using the crutches uh, to be able to get up the stairs and into the, the RV. And these stairs are great for that. So they have the handles on the stairs. See, Matt's gonna show you how the stairs work right there. And then you have the, the handle by the door. And you were saying that these stairs, uh, that they are lighter, that they um, actually produce more storage, I believe underneath. There's like a box where the original stairs would store. So that is a, a great addition. If you can find something that functions better, uh, more stable, provides more storage, just an all around better product. That's definitely a great addition. I'd love to look at putting those on our rig. So uh, let's move on to the next thing. So next on the list is they have installed the steady fast system, which you probably saw that on our channel also. Um, so uh, extremely, like the name says, it's very fast to uh, engage. So you have three points where you tighten them up and it really just helps the, the rig from, from swaying and moving when, when you're parked and using it. It just keeps it from uh, having that wobble in there if somebody's walking through the rig or something. So it uh, gives it more stability. They also um, changed out the, the foot pads on their RV also. So um, those are upgraded along with the steady fast. So uh, some great upgrades on this rig. So next on the list, in case I didn't mention it, this is a, a fifth wheel. And what they have done to the way that they connect it and, and tow it up to their uh, nice truck is they have, um, they've gone to the Anderson Ultimate Hitch. So uh, it's basically a ball instead of your traditional uh, fifth wheel hitch that you have in, in a lot of setups. This is more of a ball that gives you a really nice base in the back of the truck. Uh, it's almost like an, an elevated goose neck kind of a thing, but um, I believe the advantages that, to going with this is it's really easy to connect up to. Um, it's easy to make those connections from uh, the side of your bed, being able to engage it. Um, you don't get that chugging and jerking motion because this is so much tighter and there usually is a little bit more mobility when you're making turns or going off road. It provides a little bit more movement as, as you're traveling. So um, excellent, excellent system there. And one more thing there is the hitch in the back of the truck is extremely light. It's actually made out of aluminum. So you can save quite a bit of weight that goes in your tow vehicle uh, because you, you can basically lift this thing when it's uh, disengaged from your truck. You, sh you could be able to lift it out by, by one hand. So the weight savings in this is also an amazing point of why you would switch to something like this. Now this one might have some of you uh, power hungry, uh, battery loving people drooling because these are the Life Blue 300 amp hour. Uh, this is a great setup. It hardly takes up any space when you look at it, uh, provides a ton of power. So he's getting 600 amp hours um, out of these batteries, which since they're, they're lithium, you can take them way below that 50% that you would kind of be stuck at if you're looking at the lead acid. So you can take these way down and uh, use a lot of that amp hour capacity. These batteries actually are Bluetooth. So uh, you can pull an app up on your phone and it'll tell you individually on each battery uh, how much power is going into them, how much is getting drawn out of them. Uh, a lot of really neat features at a pretty good price. Uh, if you're looking at lithium, these are very competitive. Uh, so 
these are an excellent upgrade. Again, I forgot to mention about the weight savings. Uh, those things, if you were trying to do the same thing in lead acid, you'd have to go for 1200 amp hours of battery and the amount of weight you would have in that is just, it's just mind boggling. So uh, the weight savings in the lithium also, that's a plus. So here's their inverter. It, it serves a lot of great functions. They have it tied into their rig so they can use so many things like they're, they're plugged in when they're somewhere boondocking. Uh, but another great thing about the inverter and the amount of solar they have is they're able to keep their fridges on while they drive and uh, not have to use propane and run the risk of, of having propane on while you drive, which we always recommend shutting that off. So uh, they can run their fridges while they tow, which is great when you're going through the desert in the summertime. So uh, inverters are a great addition. So we're almost done with the outside upgrades and uh, they, they did this nice one in, uh, for their fridge, the two-way fridge. Um, the, they need to vent. So this air needs to go from the cool down here to being warm and exhausting out there. So they added some additional fans to be able to help that air movement and allow that fridge to work uh, the best it possibly can. So um, we're hopefully gonna cover that in our channel and showing you how to do some of that install in the future. But uh, they also, uh, being full-time, staying connected is key. So they have their uh, Wi-Fi booster and their cell booster there mounted in the back. And um, the solar, I forgot to mention about the solar. I think you have about a thousand watts of solar on the roof? Close to that. Close to a thousand watts of solar on the roof. So uh, that's what works. I don't think you guys worry about tilting it, do you? No. No. So they just leave the thousand watts of solar flat on the roof and it works out pretty good for them. We actually just added, what, three panels to bring it up to, to close to the thousand watts. So yeah, it's a good, solid solar system for their family. So that brings us to the last few things on the inside. And one of the biggest things they did in here is they got rid of all the carpet uh, that was in here. So there was a, a, a section of carpet that kind of went around the edge here and on the slide and removing that um, helps keep it cleaner for one. And uh, number two, they said it also helped kind of make it feel more open. So uh, that was one of the big things. They also, uh, as a lot of full timers do, um, they added these these curtains, got rid of the traditional uh, shades that were in here and added these curtains really is very functional and adds that uh, sense of home, which is fantastic. So uh, they also swapped out their convection oven over here. So uh, they're able to use that. It is a convection oven, right? Yeah. And uh, so it's a nice size. They get a lot of use out of it. So they have that. They still have their propane one down below, but uh, the majority of the use comes from that convection oven. One last one, uh, in the boys' bedroom, they got rid of this couch uh, that used to be underneath here. And they have like a workstation for being able to do uh, like RC cars and be able to build other things. So fantastic idea there. And they also have one of the sweetest, cutest dogs you could ever imagine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love getting to see what other people have done to customize their rig and uh, for their needs and their style of camping. So I'm not saying that this is exactly how you need to customize your rig. The point is you can do these things slowly along the way so that you, you fit the needs, you find your style and you learn from other people. So um, if there's something that you would like to learn about or have reviewed, leave that down in the comments uh, because it's fun to be able to customize our rig and uh, just do it one step at a time and uh, it's great to see the final result and how that rig fits your style so that's going to do it for today i hope you guys enjoyed this if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button and uh, if we don't see you on the road hopefully we will see you in the next video